Today we are honored to receive testimony from four outstanding witnesses who have been leaders in infrastructure over the last 200 years. First, I'd like to turn to Adam Smith. You are known as the father of modern economics, and you wrote in The Wealth of Nations that the federal government has three fundamental duties, protecting its people from invasion, protecting them from injustice, and could you explain your thoughts on the third duty of government? The duty of erecting and maintaining certain public works and certain public institutions, which can never be for the interest of any individual or small number of individuals to erect or maintain. President Lincoln, you led by example, and you pursued the building of the Transcontinental Railroad, not during a recession, not during a depression, but during the greatest struggle in our nation's history, the Civil War. Why did you find it so important? Time and experience have verified to a demonstration the public utility of internal improvements. There was nothing more important before the nation than the building of the railroad to the Pacific Coast. No other improvement can equal in the utility of the railroad. This great enterprise, a never failing source of communication. President Eisenhower, you saw infrastructure as a priority for our economy and national defense. And I believe you learned much of that after World War I when you led a convoy across America, which took you 62 days. You developed your thinking on this important issue of infrastructure. Could you share with us your thoughts? Roads are necessary to defense, and traffic is an interstate problem of concern to the federal government. Together, the united forces of our communication and transportation systems are dynamic elements in the very name we bear, United States. Without them, we would be a mere alliance of many separate parts. President Reagan, thanks for being with us today. Your leadership on infrastructure was critical to America in the 80s and the 90s. Can you talk to us about your view on the importance of infrastructure and how we should pay for it? We simply cannot allow this magnificent system to deteriorate beyond repair. Good tax policy decrees that wherever possible, a fee for a service should be assessed against those who directly benefit from that service. Our highways were built larger with such a user fee, the gasoline tax. I think it makes sense to follow that principle in restoring them to the condition we all want them to be in. Thanks to each of our panelists for being here today. This is a tremendous group of individuals that understand the importance of infrastructure and transportation to America. Many of you were Republican presidents, but infrastructure isn't a Republican or Democrat issue. We don't have Republican roads or Democrat bridges. These are American roads and American bridges. Our infrastructure is an American infrastructure.